Pardon me, bro. Alright, so I'm going to make this video mostly for just fun. I don't, I don't know if you'll watch it or not. It'll probably be pretty long. Um, this is a game called No Man's Sky. I bought it quite a while ago and I've never played it. I bought it. Um, I don't know if you heard or paid attention to any of the controversy around it, but when it first came out, the uh, developers of this game promised all of these features. And when it came out, the game sucked. <laughs> But they spent like a year or a year and a half just patching and patching and patching and adding content to now where this game is actually supposed to be fabulous. So I, I played it a little bit earlier. Um, I have this game where I think I played it. I think that means I played it for an hour or almost two hours. I'm going to start a new game just to show you from the beginning because I think it's actually kind of fun. Um, and I think you misunderstood what I was saying about X4. I just wanted a break from it. I wasn't having a lot of fun. Um, I, I, don't, I don't know why. Uh, when my base got destroyed, I didn't even notice until it was, had been destroyed two hours ago or something. So I was just like, you know what, let's, let's do something different. So I'm going to record this. This is going to be from the beginning. Um, just to show you what it's like. Uh, it's kind of weird. You have to hold down the mouse button. See the circle? I'm going to play normal, although I suppose we could be interesting and play permadeath. That would make you laugh. <laughs> but I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, I didn't actually die before, but anyways, we're going to try this. So essentially, uh, like every other space adventure game, we are going to crash on a planet. Uh, feel free to watch this at like two times speed or something. Um, I only know this because I watched the video before. If you look around the screen, you see different words, different names. Those are systems that we can eventually go to. But when we crash, our ship is going to be busted. And we're going to have to go from there. <coughs> Pardon me. Oh man, this is this is a uh, a pretty good starting planet. Uh, Sentinels are bad guys. Uh, we, we we need to avoid them. Uh, if you look on the left, bottom left hand corner of the screen, I don't have a mouse pointer in this game. Es essentially, I am slowly dying. So, what I need to do is collect some stuff. And at this point, it really doesn't make a difference what we collect because we have no way of knowing what we're collecting. Although what we are looking for is silicon. I know that from my last playthrough. So, uh, it says valuable geode acquired. Oh, okay. Analyze the geode with E. So, I, I got a geode. So, we go in here and hit E, and what do we get? I don't know. We got something. Uh, essentially, all of this stuff is, is useful. Um... But it wants me to activate the scanner and locate sodium with the scanner. So the scanner is a personal surface radar. I have 75 of 75 ferrite dust, so I have to fix it. So I, ha I already gathered some ferrite dust. And I have to go to the multi-tool. And i got to go to the scanner and repair it. Alright, so now I gotta hit C and we're looking for sodium. And NA, if you recall from science class, is sodium. And we wanna get there as quickly as we humanly can. We have this jetpack, but we don't wanna go jumping too high because um, we'll take fall damage, essentially. So we wanna pick that up 
and we want to put it in here. There, there's a way to do that without opening your, without opening the screen, but I, I don't know how to do it yet. So I'm, I'm hoping to figure that out. Um, okay, so it, it found an automated distress signal. It wants me to go find it. It's that thing right there in the middle of the screen. But I'm going to pick up this dihydrogen oxide, which I have no idea what it is, but it is useful, so we're going to grab as much of it as we can. But we're still going to look for sulfur, and we're going to try and get to where we were going. So we're going essentially this way. God, I hope I don't have to go up that hill. Okay, there's more more. There's a bunch of sulfur and there's oxygen. I'm afraid to fly too high. I don't actually understand how the jetpack works. It it it, it does uh, it does wear out. Well, there's oxygen up here. Oh, my scanner is recharging. I don't know what that means either. Uh, I'm not sure how I missed that. Well, this is ferrite dust. So we can't analyze anything yet because we haven't built, rebuilt the thing we need. Oh man, I'm terrible at this game too. Yeah, what is a, I, I know that's a big surprise. Right, where'd that oxygen go? Oh, we're going that way. Can't. Oh. Let's pick this up. Can I? Like. The dude, I watched the video, and this guy was, was was fixing his stuff without going into the menu. And I don't know how he was doing that. But as you see, I what, what I'm doing, if you look in the bottom left, I have a, a radiation meter. It's the, or, the orange thing, the orange line. Um... Oh, is this two sodiums? It is. And so, essentially, I am refilling that bar, and that, that's pretty good. I uh, Can I get up to this thing? All right. So far, so good. Where's the red... It's over behind that. I don't know what that red stuff is, but I don't think I want to be around it. I'll laugh if I can't get over this. My jetpack is depleted. Nothing found. All right, so here I've got to take this rusted metal. No, there's a way to discard it. And that'll open it up and give me some dihydrogen. Where the hell am I supposed to be going, bro? I lost it. Where'd it go? It's over it's over this way. Where the hell do they want me to go? I'm gonna die. I I have no idea where it wants me to go at this point. But I'm certainly not going to try and go up higher on this mountain because I just can't get there. But I certainly don't want to go down in that red stuff. I almost feel like I'm like at the end of a map and it doesn't want me to go this way. I, I don't know. Well, it does look like it opens up as I get over here. Not a whole lot of resources on this planet, that's for sure. Carbon we definitely want. If 
ferrite we'll need. This is also more ferrite, so we'll grab that. Am I actually, I am going to get to where I needed to get to. Oh, so if you look in the upper right hand corner, my mining beam is about out of energy. It's down to 16%. So we will have to fix that. And again, there's supposed to be a way to do it without coming in here. Mining beam, carbon. Yeah, we need more carbon. Carbon comes from plants. So, well, of course I'm getting fairy dust, or ferrite dust, because that's what I, what I don't need. I need carbon. All right, so we are here. Uh, I guess I'm not going to spoil anything by telling you that this is my uh, crash ship that we're coming up to. Sentinel intervention, deliberate transfer. Oh. Anomaly containment prepared. I don't know what that means. You should make her different from <sighs> Traveler anomaly detected. Anomaly is compliant. Position logged. System integrity scan initialized. Okay, so it says my exosuit initialization is, pro is in progress. It wants me to go check out my crash ship, which is obviously right here. And what's nice is when you go in here, you're protected from all the elements. And that's the only safety we have at the moment. So it's essentially going to tell us that all of our systems are broken. So we'll read this log. All right, so I, I have to repair the ship systems. Self-guided repair protocols initiated. So it's telling me my pulse engine is critically damaged. I need to provide or it provides space and atmospheric flight propulsion. The system's highly damaged and requires metal plating and a hermetic seal to repair. Uh, which I know nothing about how to make. Well, I do, but uh, we can press E and get out of our ship now. And now it's going to tell us over here on the right. Recommendation, repair ship engines. Repair the starship requires a mix of crafted products, salvage items, and advanced refined substances. So, repair the pulse engine, I need metal plating and a her hermetic seal. Then to repair the launch thrusters, I need dihydrogen jelly and pure ferritite. So, size so collect ferritite dust, which I have plenty of. I wants me to craft a metal plate. So you're going to go in here. And you click on this, and now you can see I can craft a metal plating because I have 50 50 ferrite dust. And it wants me to patch the metal plating onto the pulse engine. So I can click the pulse engine and put that there, and that's, that's fixed. What's nice is you don't actually have to be at your ship. You do have to be near it. You can't be on the other side of the map, but, you know, you have to be relatively close. Uh, so now it wants me to board the starship and consult the ship diagnostics. All right. Uh, 
Unable. Pulse engine requires hermetic seal. So it says the cell, which is a planetary chart from the distress beacon cache, which is the thing in front of us. So we'll get out. And we go over here. Up here inside the beacon's housing, as well as the distressed broadcast, the unit contains a planetary chart. So we're going to take that. And of course, that's in here. And we can hold down E to plot a route. Plan a route. Oh God, where's it gonna tell me? I gotta go up there. Thank you very much. I just so appreciate that. Um, there should be some stuff here too. We can fix this. Uh, we gotta click on this. Uh, no. We want to discard that, the rusted metal. And that gave me 28 nanites. I, I'm not exactly sure what those are, to be honest. Condensed carbon is like carbon, only better. That needs an Atlas Pass V1. I don't know what that means. More dihydrogen. Rusted metal, we'll toss that out. And now we have more carbon. All right, so where do you want me to go now? Oh, goodness gracious. You want me to go this way? I think. Or is this behind? No. It's up here somewhere. I will I will grant you this is not the, the best target marker I've ever seen. I'm just going to pick up some, some carbon and... S oh, well, what the heck? Apparently that was not a friendly plant. It, 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 it's, it's not happy with me. Oh, goodness. Where, where, where did that marker go? This is, this is not good. I'm going to go down this way probably the wrong way but we're gonna go down this way but if this storm gets here while I'm out that's probably gonna end the mark the end of this game uh, unless maybe I can find a cave a cave would be all right where do you want me to go no well, I see it but this storm is not good for us as you see, my health is going down by chunks. I can't see where I'm going. Yeah, everything's falling. Well, fortunately, there's some more sodium in front of me, which is helpful. Where it is is beyond me, but... Well, this is here. No! Alright, so we recharged a little bit. That's, that's alright. So, this is your basic survival game. Uh, I thought this planet looked like it was going to be pretty nice to me, but this storm is killing me. And I cannot find anywhere to hide from it. 
So hopefully when I get over there, I'll be safe. I'm going to run a little bit. Oh god, I'd like to stop and collect all this. Oh, shoot. This is not good. I would like to stop and collect all this stuff, but I just I just can't. So the question is, do I go for the sodium or do I go for these deco decoded coordinates? I, I don't know. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, of course, the storm is clearing now, but, you know, why wouldn't it? So we need to get over here. Hey, that that wasn't good. No one making this recording in case leaving behind in the fabricator might be of some use. Visor damaged. Can't find ship. So I now have the her hermetic uh, seal that I need. Whoever it was that led me here, whoever left this message, perhaps they found themselves in the same situation as I do now. So there's that. I, I, this is some sort of a stock transfer. I, you know, I could do that once. This is a universal language database. You've learned Viking word for Viking. That's fabulous. Um... Is there anything else in here? This this looks like it could be something. But it's not. Alright, so let's go over here. Oh. Damage machinery. And more nanites. Okay, what's this? Nothing? Well, I don't see anything worth worth, worth anything here. So I'm torturing your cousin. Well, because I have two shiny pine cones. So it says use my ana analysis visor to locate the starship. Now it says it requires installation. An analysis visor is a planetary exploration device that locates and highlights nearby points of interest. It can also be used to analyze flora, fauna, and minerals. Analysis results in commercially valuable data as well as revealing resources. I need carbon nanotubes. I have zero of one. So I have to gather and craft. Okay. So we're going to go to here. So it's installed, but it's not working because I need carbon nanotubes. So it says to gather carbon, which is going to be essentially plants or trees. Apparently I have enough. So let's ca craft carbon nanotubes. And then we can go back to our multi-tool and repair it. And now I can start analyzing objects. So this is my analysis tool and see there's all kinds of junk on this planet. That's hazardous flora. Damage machinery. 
Uh, okay, so I don't know what it wants me to analyze. Let's let's go analyze this thing. So I got 200 units. And now it wants me to locate my starship, which is there. It's uh, that. So anything that says unidentified, we're going to start identifying because we'll get units for it. I haven't spent any units yet. Everything is, of course, going to be unidentified to start. But now you notice when we look at stuff, we can tell what we're going to get from it. And I essentially want carbon and ferrite for right now. I want mostly carbon because that's what I'm going to need to recharge my drill with. And, oh, what's this? That was the wrong button. I need... I either need to be sure I can get back or I need to find sodium. Oh, I have to stop and pick this up. This is not a not a choice. The inventory in this game is a little wacky. I haven't identified that yet, so let's identify it. I would like to stay here and pick all this up, but I don't know that I am going to be able to do that. What was unidentified? Oh, that mineral back there. Alright. We need to f either get back to the ship or find more sodium. And I don't see any sodium on the way back to the ship. So for right now, I would like to just get back to the ship in one piece. I shouldn't be stopping and doing this, but you know. I don't know what that big light is, to be honest with you. Because my ship is over here. Alright, there's some sodium. That will help. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pass these up because I'm just not a smart enough player to understand. Where did it go? Right here. What is that? A grawberry. So my life support systems are at 50% and I need oxygen to fix that and I can never find oxygen. I got a sodium. I don't know what an atlas pass is. Oh, that's terrible. Let's see if we can do something about that. I don't want to get near that plant. I don't know what it is, but it doesn't look friendly. Oh, goodness gracious.
They couldn't have put my ship anywhere worse on this on this launch. I bet you at some point I get a mini map, but I don't know where it is yet. Oh, don't want to go near that. Can I, can I scan it? I mean, it's a Venus flytrap. We know that. Itchy pollen. Primary element, oxygen. So you're supposed to be able to do stuff with, with these, but see, see he's getting so pissy. But the oxygen is what, what, what repairs me, so I, I don't know, you know. Use oxygen for fuel to your life support systems. So does that mean I can fix my life support a little bit? I have 11 oxygen. Yeah, well, we'll take that. Uh, so, wants me to access the Starship technology, click on the pulse engine, and add the hermetic seal. So, the launch thruster, vertical and takeoff, vital launch and landing gear system. System is highly damaged and requires dihydrogen jelly and pure ferrite to repair. So, I'm going to construct a portable refiner to process pure ferrite. Alright, so craft dihydrogen jelly. Do I have the stuff for that? I do. And then I can go here. And I can put the di put that in there. And now to repair this. Alright, first of all, I'm gonna get in my ship just for a minute because I, I realize I'm nowhere near dying, but I hate it when I get under 50%. You should you should know that. So I have to construct a portable refiner. Uh, all of this stuff, if you hit escape, there is a huge guide. And all of this stuff is in here. I just don't have to read it because, well, I already have. <laughs> oh, every time you get out of your ship, it saves your game. Uh, so... We've got to craft a portable, so I've got to craft a metal plating first. So, there's a metal plating. Cannot build. I'm missing 30 oxygen. Locate oxygen with the scanner. So, that's actually not what it means. It doesn't want me to hit F. It wants me to... Oh, wait, hold on. I don't, I don't know. There, there's a leaf up here, and leaf normally means life, so I'm going to go see what it is. But what they mean is to hold down F and find oxygen that way. Well, there's a copper deposit. Can't do anything with that yet. This is an infant flora. It doesn't have a root structure. It's autotrophic, whatever that means, and it's hollow. Oh, that's the thing that gives my jetpack power. Oh, now we can scan this dude. Alright, so... Female digs for tubers. I, I'm sure there's a bunch of stuff that we're going to be doing later. I just don't know what it is. Alright, so it wants me to find oxygen. I don't know where we're... I don't want to go up. Where is oxygen? There's a knowledge stone, which we can't do anything with. Ferrite deposit. Buried technology module. There's my ship. Where in... Hello.
What's this? Hazardous flora, gamma weed. Where in the world am I going to find oxygen? And the worst part is I need 30 of it and I need more to make myself better. Killed the thing I hadn't checked out. So where is oxygen, bro? You see any? Oh, this has carbon and oxygen. All right, so. I got 10 oxygen. All right, so the plan is these trees. That's an unidentified plant? I'm gonna get carbon and mordite out of that. That is not what I wanted. There's my ship. That looks like the, the same thing over there. Unidentified. This is a mineral. That's not it. Uh, old bones recently formed. Pure ferrite and uranium. This has ferrite dust and uranium. I only got one oxygen out of that that piece of junk. All right, so let's let's go back to our ship real quick because you know again I'm under fifty percent and that don't work for me. And you know, since we know what we're going after, I'm gonna, I'm gonna heal myself. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna look in the frickin' settings. General options, video, control. Look sensitivity, view controls, flight controls, vibration, remap, remap controls. Tag marker. Yeah, this is all WASD, perform interaction, melee attack. I haven't attacked anything yet. Activate torch, visor, show show HUD. What was show HUD? H. Is that what I want? What, what I want to know is... No, that, that wasn't what I wanted. I want to know how that guy healed himself and stuff without going into the menus. I don't want Mordite. No. I already started getting it. So.
carbon, sodium. Where, where, where's that question mark I keep missing? There's, there has to be more oxygen around here without me having to go 100 miles. Carbon and radon. That's fabulous. Ferret, Dyson, sodium. Now well, let's go. Have we already been here? More sodium, that's good. Uh. There's knowledge stuff. Okay, so that is what we want. I, I, I guess. I'm afraid if I get down here. Uh, I'm never going to get back up this hill, bro. And I still don't know what this is for, but in the one video I watched about this, the guy picked up every last bit he saw, so I'm going to assume it's important. There we go, oxygen. So if this is oxygen, please give me oxygen, like lots of it. Well, not, not five. Five is not, not the answer. We're looking for big numbers. Well, I have enough. I'd like a little bit more. Because, as you notice, that health bar over there is getting kind of low. I'm getting Mordite out of this thing. Shit. All right, where's my where's my ship? It's up there. Let's go this way. This is a terrible planet. I mean, to start off on, this is a absolutely terrible planet. Because, you know, obviously I have terrible gear. There's oxygen this way, it says. Not that I need more oxygen, but it says it's over here. So let's go see what's over here. Yes. All right, where's my ship? It's up there. We're, we're just trying to get to the ship now. Everything else can wait. I have plenty of, plenty of oxygen. That thing is growling at me. Oh, we don't want to go to the plant. Yeah, life support systems. Oh, what are you? Carbon and radon. No idea what that's for. All right, let's uh, let's hop in here and 
get healed up. And then we'll build some pure ferrite. So what I'll show you what I have. What I have is ferrite dust. And we need to make pure ferrite from it. So we'll hop out. We're going to come over here and hit Z and make a portable refiner, which we have plenty of. And since we now have plenty, we are going to put as much oxygen as we have left into our life support. And now I feel much, much more better. So we use this thing. It needs fuel. We have plenty of carbon we can give it. And if we give it ferrite dust, it will make ferrite pure ferrite. Now I only need 50 so I'll stop there just because. And we'll leave that there for now. And now it wants me to repair the launch thrusters. Starship prepared. Launch systems online. So, at least it's nice. It tells us to pick this up. It says, don't be an idiot and leave it here. And now all the systems are functional. And we can get in our ship. Now it says W to take off. And poof. Now it says, seek answers among the stars, so I'm going to uh, head as best I can straight up. I don't know how I went from where I was, where I was to... Now I'm heading back down. That's, that's, that's absolutely terrible. There's 80. Alright, so that's more or less straight up, and what it doesn't tell you is you hold W... There's three planets, two moons. And that wants me to test the starship systems. So test flight controls and thrust with W. All right, test boost with left shift. And hold space to test the pulse engine. <laughs> I am not alone. Follow the, uh, the coordinates. So input the coordinate data. And I was like, what are they talking about? Because I didn't see that thing in the middle of my screen for the first time. What they want us to do is go to, oh, I thought I passed it. Yeah, right there. They want us to go to this thing. And we will, but first we're going to scan it. It's a paradise moon, star bulb, copper, paraffinium, and cobalt. And the other thing I'm going to do is not hit land. I'm just going to go over here and, and hit... I just want to go. And I want to shoot... Apparently, I am picking this stuff up. Yeah, 
See, I've got 45 tritium. Silver. Oh, my weapon overheated. I got a gold nugget. How do I analyze this? I got gold. Gold, silver, I got all kinds of stuff. What I was mostly interested in was making sure I had some of this tritium. So I had uh, rocket fuel. All right, so uh, what we're gonna do now is go up here. And this is the moon to an unknown planet unmapped, but we're gonna do that and we will get there much quicker. So we slow down a little bit so we don't crash into the planet. Let's enter the atmosphere. And now let's take a look around. This is essentially where we need to be. There's a way... There's a way to look around. Um, uh, I don't know what it is though. Perform scan, activate torch, visor, zoom, HUD, jump, run, fire weapon, reload weapon, quick menu. Quick menu is important. X and Z. Switch alt weapon, place custom markers, inventories. Rotate terrain. Toggle auto walk. I don't know. Um, the video I was watching, the guy was... Uh, looking outside his ship so he could make sure he landed someplace, you know, reasonable. This this doesn't look too bad, so I'm just going to hold E and land. It's, it's a little warm outside. And I am now on another another planet. Crash ship responded to my commands, confirmed my suspicion that belonged to me. I have repaired the damage and taken it to space, but the cause of my crash is still a mystery. Find the cache. Follow, follow the mysterious signal to the crash. I don't know. So, press escape to upload and rename it. It's because you have all these different discoveries. Like, I've discovered seven fauna. I don't know how I did this last time. Online discovery services active. Last time I came in here, eh, whatever. Maybe it's because I'm on the wrong planet. What are you? Are you going to eat me? Be submissive. So essentially, this this is a, just a whole different biome. Like, I haven't seen this thing.
Apparently it's telling me that I went to the wrong place. All right, so let, let's go back to my ship and we'll, we'll fly closer. Alright, so it's saying I went too far last time. Oh, I'm going to crash. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know how to fly this thing. Okay. Investigate the damaged machinery. No fuel. Failed to reach station. Hazard protection low. No choice but to underground. Deployed base computer. As well as the log entry, the signal contains plans for a base computer and a terrain manipulator. With any luck, the base computer will hold more information about whoever is leaving these messages. So let's get the plans. And now I can build the base computer, which needs 30 chromatic metal. But in order to do that, I need to build a terrain manipulator takes two carbon nanotubes and a dihydrin jelly. So, it wants me to go to my multi-tool and install the terrain manipulator. So I need this, which I don't have. I need two of those, which I don't have. So, Let's go see what we can do about that. Ferrite, dust, and salt. I need carbon. I will always take oxygen and carbon. Carbon na nanotubes. So to make a carbon nanotube, we need lots of carbon. So I can't use any of these. All I, this this is the end of my inventory down here. So uh, there's the hydrogen gel, hydrogen jelly. Now can I make I can make the carbon nanotubes, but can I make two of them? Oh, craft more. Alright, so now I've got a multi-tool, and I put them in, and I now have the terrain manipulator. So I hit G to switch between the mining beam and the terrain manipulator, and now we hold F and we have to look for carbon. That's cobalt. Or a or something. There's copper, 537. That, that, that's a hike. <laughs> Let's see if we can find copper a little closer. 338's not bad. Cobalt. Hazardous flora impulse beans. 
damage machinery. Wait, hold on. What's that? I haven't been down there yet. How'd I miss this? I got more nanites from it. All right. Impulse beam, hazardous flora. I'm gonna find some copper. Star bramble, cobalt. Seriously, the only copper I'm gonna find is that far away. Debris. Buried technology. Cargo drop. All right, well, I guess we'll go to that. That's farther than I'd like to go, but let's see what happens. I probably should scan as I go along. I know I'm going to need these trees, so I might as well grab them as I go. Am I not getting them? I had the wrong, wrong beam up. Just carbon. All right, let's. Let's just head off this way and see what we see. What's that? That's pretty. I don't understand how the, oh, here's the copper deposit right here. So all we need to do now is switch to our, our mine. And try and mine as much of this as we can. That's a lot of copper. I'm going to take as much as I can find. What is that? Is that a tunnel? I I'm afraid to go down there. That does look like a tunnel to, to me, though. I mean, it looks like I could get lost in there. I, I'm not going down there. All right, so let's uh, let's head back to our ship. Where's our ship? Uh, it's over here.
So I wonder what that green, red, and blue thing was that was there. That is huge. Probably can't mine that quite yet. <laughs> All right, so deploy the refiner. Uh, which is this guy? And then we've got to not shoot it. I'm gonna put fuel back in it. And put copper in here. I'm gonna let this run all the copper we can find. Where'd my copper go? Gold, silver, carbon. Oh, look at that. I have multiple rows. I didn't realize that. I got quite a bit of copper, didn't I? And I'm getting chromatic metals. I need 30. I don't think raw copper is useful. So I'm just going to let it. Let's let it make 60 or so. All right, we'll call that good. So what's interesting is I can put this in my exosuit. My exosuit high capacity inventory. I don't know what that is. And my starship. So let, let's put it here. I just want to see if I can find it now. So in my exosuit, where did the copper go? In here. So I have two slots in cargo. Gotcha. All right. So find a suitable area and deploy the base computer. Okay. Before we do that, we're going to build our base um, over, over this way. I, I don't know why over this way, but we're, we're going to build it over here. But the mistake I made last time in my other playthrough, or as far as I got, is, oh wait, does X do, do Yes, X does the thing that he was doing. So X is recharge equipment, that's what we want. Mining beam, carbon. So there's gestures, recharge equipment, life support, Okay. Interesting. Um, is I didn't know that I could switch to my mining beam and then so how, how did he do that and how would I know that? He went to Construction. Uh, Spanish base was easy to use that. Survival basics, the multi tool. Getting around. The terrain manipulator. Use the toggle between. Placement, deletion, restore, and flatten. TNR changes. Use. It says use to toggle between placement. What the hell do you want me to use to, to toggle between it? There we go. Terrain manipulator. Create, flatten.
So all I'm trying to do is make a flat place for my base. This is probably much larger than I'm going to make it, but at least it's going to be flat this time. How did... That didn't flatten anything. I don't understand. So there's still a great big hole here. All right. Well, I can I can dig into here. All right. So I I, I guess that's okay. <sighs> Terrible. All right. So before we go crazy, let's go put our base claiming thing. Well, I guess that's better than nothing. It's out of the way. What are you? Oh, what the heck was this? Alright, well, at least that's starting to look better. Alright, uh, search the base computer archives. Storm sweeping across, but construction supplies low. Depositing shelter plans. Need to back soon. So let's get to plans. Now we learned five things. Wooden wall and that sort of stuff. So I need to construct bases as shelter from harsh env environments. Expand your base by earning new construction blueprints. Return to your base to store and process items as you continue to explore. So, build foundation from wooden floors. So, we're going to go over here. What? What are you doing? <laughs> Weirdo. So, we go here. Wooden, wooden floor. We want this. I'm just going to make a small 4x4 four four to start. Uh, I, I have enough. Let's build six by six. Alright, so I can... I, I haven't worked out how to... That's a roof. That's a door. We want a door. Okay, this is what he said. Use the build camera because it makes life easier. Alright, and now we want a wall. Watch me die doing this. One, two, three. All right.
Why won't you go the way I want you to go? Come on. Okay, I now have a base. It's not much of a base, but it's a base. So what I want to do is just run out here real quick. Let's go get this. I want to put that down, so... That is... Portable... I don't want a base computer, I want the portable refiner. And we're going to put it like there. Okay, so it wants me to go out here. So, recovered salvage data from nearby plans, plans logged, scans indicate additional subterranean devices, beginning searches. Whoever recorded these logs evidently had some success. I have access to their plans and I can learn from their efforts. So now I can build a construction unit, which needs magnetized ferrite and a carbon nanotube. So let's go here. Let's throw some carbon in. And let's throw some ferret dust in here first. Let's make about 40. And now we can take the pure ferrite and send it through again and get magnetized ferrite. A two to one ratio. I'll give me 23. Uh, what else did I need? I need a, a nanotube. And now I can make this guy. <clears throat> so it says I have to, I should recover salvage data from buried technology, equip and utilize an analysis visor. So uh, there's a teleport module and a biofuel reactor and a save beacon and a signal booster, a health station, electrical wiring, uh, but that's core habitation tech. Then there's wooden shelters, metal shelters, concrete shelters. So this is essentially the research component of this game. So we're going to run out to our ship.
And we're going to hop in for a minute so that we can hop out. Use restore mode. Oh, I am accidentally in restore mode. So what happens if I do create? I read, or I saw, RT is change size. What does that do? Is it'll build up to your buildings. Oops, that was almost bad. Let's see if I can fill this in. Let's call that good. Uh, let's uh, good job. Do I know who you are? No. This didn't kill me. Oxygen, carbon. All right, so let's see if we can find some plans. Some sort of deposit, deposit, knowledge stone. I don't know what a knowledge stone is. So let's go find out. Area discovered, Chiawasa Woods. Viking, 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 yig, yig, yig. <clears throat> the stone resonates, producing a sound that fills my mind. A vision begins to take shape. I see two large aliens locked in combat. Eventually one triumphs, leaving the victim to bleed to death. With the last of their strength, the vanquished alien gestures towards me. The name Viking floats in my vision, an echo of a strange vision I just experienced. A word in this alien tongue is seared into my brain. We've learned the Viking word for interloper. Okay. Well, 
I'm not going to an unknown building. Uh, impulse beans are star bramble. It's another knowledge stone. Uh, cobalt. Damaged machinery. Hazardous flora. There we go. Buried technology mod module. That's what we're looking for. Um, All right, life is back back to good. Carbon, carbon. Oh. Do I have you? I do. Did my whole screen just shake? Was I getting attacked? <laughs> what is that? Cobalt deposit. I gotta go pick that up. That's supposed to be worth some cash. <laughs> All right, destination reach. It says it's eleven. All All right, so we switch to the terrain manipulator and mine mode. And there it is. I think we have to dig it out some more. We only got one salvage data out of that, two. course well apparently in this game you can kind of cheat uh, where did my ship go it's over this way oh there's oxygen here So, since we can, I'm going to cheat and weather out the storm by digging a cave. Now that we can, I don't know what I got out of those. Fordite, oxygen, gamma root. I can analyze these crystal fragments. 
Where does it say what I got? Uranium, sodium, sodium nitrate, projectile ammunition. I don't know where I got that from. Star bulb, silicate powder, salvage data. I only have two. I'd actually like to find more. All right, storm's clearing. It says it was clearing. It didn't say it cleared yet. All right. I wish I remembered. That's a knowledge stone, which is important. A lot of knowledge stones here. Damage machinery. Huh. Not a whole lot in the way of. Yeah, not a whole lot in the way of stuff. Debris. Oh, look at that. I was right next to my ship. <laughs> That's funny. So I'm going to return, learn this base teleport module, which needs four metal plating, two carbon nanotubes, and 40 sodium. Eek. Now it says my base can be renamed. Uh, first base. And what does upload do? Uh, Save my game apparently. I don't know. All right, so craft four metal plating. Alright, four metal, metal plating. Construct two carbon nanotubes. Gather sodium. Okay. Hmm. Sodium right here. Can't do it with your mining beam. Oxygen, sodium is this way. Oh, can I mine that? Advanced mining laser required. No. Carbon. Carbon. Oxygen.
I do? Uh, I see that, but I can't do anything with it. Salt. Oxygen. Carbon and oxygen. I guess there's more ca carbon there or copper. Oh, what the heck was that? Subterranean relic? Yeah, this is all new. Knowledge stone. I want to go see what this thing is. Pure ferrite. Pure ferrite. If I play this long enough, I'll probably have a ship where I just come around and suck up all the resources on a planet, leave it dry. Oh, setting out. Traveled 8,000 units. Oh, there's sodium over there. This appears to be one of those knowledge things. Carbon and sulfurine. I've learned the Viking word for gra. Now, if I only knew the English word for gra, we'd be in we'd be in business. Paraffin deposit. Why is that all pink? Oh, is that the paraffin? Yes. What is that? Don't know. But I do know I saw sodium somewhere over there. Watch be another one of those things I can't do anything with. I don't know what you are, but you're making noise. Use X to summon your ship. Gestures, photo mode, summon vehicles, launch thrusters not charged. Of course not, because why would they be? Uh, let's go copper, copper, paraffinium, cobalt. I don't need any of that. Knowledge stone. All right, let's go check out the knowledge stone, and then we'll head back to our ship.
Did you see a knowledge stone? Did I run past it? Cobalt. Damage machinery. building. Oh. Duh. <laughs> Does it being lit up mean I, I've already been to this one? Yep. Alright, let's head back to head back to base. So I wonder what the thing in the upper left hand corner is. A shield and three pluses and some sort of bar. No clue. Okay, so for no particular reason other than that's what this other guy did, I'm going to build I don't have enough I, I haven't learned it yet, so I'm just gonna fly up here. Tech, base teleport module, like this. A personal teleport device allows the user to move quickly between the constructed bases as well as blah blah blah. Now it says to go learn the biofuel reactor thing, but I have not seen, have you seen another Cause I need more research. I don't think I have one. I don't know how far this thing can see. Maybe I need to run a bit. Knowledge stone out here. Yes. 
Sorry, man. I wasn't trying to bother you. Let's run out here to this knowledge stone, if nothing else. Stone, copper deposit, star bramble. The Viking word the. All right. Another knowledge stone. Copper deposit. Paraffin deposit. Knowledge stone. Buried technology module. There, now we're talking. Oh, hello. What are you? I need to skateboard or something, because this is... This is kind of crazy. So, buried technology. Alright, well, I know I haven't been to this. Ooh. I haven't seen that symbol before. Uh oh. I know that symbol means I got hurt. <laughs> I have no idea how to combat this game. Alright, let's get out of here before. I learned five words. That's fabulous. And I travel, travel ten, ten thousand KS, whatever that means. What's this yellow thing? Sodium-rich plant. We want those. Adult enjoys the hunt. Diet small animals. Well, my ship is back that way. What the hell?
Unidentified mineral. Paraffin, cobalt, copper, copper, pulpy roots. All right, well, I guess we'll head back to the base. Let's heal ourselves. Impulse bean is. Let's go see. What the hell? They they won't leave me alone. I don't have any weapons, dude. Leave me alone. All right, we are back at sync base. Right. Okay. So the tutorial wants me to learn biofuel reactor and because I know it's free I need electrical wiring. What do I have left? A save beacon, a signal booster, what's that do? Interesting. something. I wanted this wooden ramp. Carbon and pure ferrite? Seriously? So now we want to go over here and we want to build a wooden ramp. How do I rotate?
And now, for tech, we want to build power biofuel reactor. Like so. Oh, we metal plate it. Need to build industrial wiring from this guy to that guy. I don't know why that's red. Probably because it needs grid status overloaded. It needs fuel. I don't, I don't want to give it all of that. How do, how do I split this stack? All right, or maybe not. Well, no, I did. Uh, carbon, move and stack. Now can I put a hundred in there? No. All right, I have eight minutes of, of charge. On all of that carbon. Interstellar detection wavelength offline. Local transmission station call sign online. Teleporters allow instantaneous, tra instantaneous travel between previously visited space stations and owned bases. Visit the terminus aboard the space station to add points to your teleport network. Network temporarily restricted to in teleport in system teleportation. Okay. So it says return to the base computer. Scanner detect unusual broadcast. Repeating 16 from the space station. Warning. End of archive. <laughs> the base computers have reached the end of their end. It seems there's nothing more to learn from them. My predecessor appears to have left their base and headed for the space station. Can I upload my base? I can. Follow in the footsteps of the base's previous... Computer's owner. I need to do something to make it so I can take off, though. Not enough fuel in the launch thruster. What's it need? Starship launch fuel or uranium? Well, I happen to have uranium, so... We'll go with that. No? With Starship launch fuel. The hydrogen jelly. How do I make launch fuel? Starship launch fuel or uranium? Metal plating, Starship launch fuel. 
I need to make a metal plating. And then that. And that goes in there. Now can I take off? Yes. And it wants me to go to the space station, which is there. Can I scan it? Oh no! <laughs> that was funny. Are you making a video or talking to real people? I'm making a video for Ricky for like the last three hours or however long I've been in here. Okay. Just because he'll never watch this whole thing. Am I in space yet? No. Hi, I love you. Hi. Anyways, uh, I'm going to arrive at the spaceship, space station in five seconds. Two, one. And, uh, whoa. This probably shouldn't shoot the space station. Um, now I'm really happy I watched the video because I would have been... I would have been confused. So there is, yeah, apparently, a way to land on this thing. I would love to be able to find the external view. Video option, general option. Control options. View controls. Normal, inverted, whatever, tethered, remap controls. On foot, quick menu, flight controls. Show HUD. Toggle, chat, hold to paste. Targets. Oh, that's that's gonna be bad. Galactic map. M. Quick menu. Thrust, brake, boost. <coughs> Free look. Next target. Previous target. Discovery options. Inventories. All right. Fine. No man's sky. External ship view. <laughs> How to change between third and first person camera. Uh.
However, the first person camera mode isn't gone altogether. Instead, you just want the classic first person. Packed in an all new menu that players could use for. You can bring it up by pressing X. I'm supposed to press X. X. Recharge equipment, galaxy map, starship photo mode, summon freighter, utilities. Switch starship view. Okay. So, where would you suppose one would land on this damn thing? Right there. Uh, th there's got to be a, a better way to switch between views than what I just did. Yes. So anyways, uh, apparently, and this is just apparently because this is the first time I've ever been here, um, this is where the game starts. So if you go in here, there's supposed to be all sorts of I don't know if these are other real players or whatnot. Well, there's stuff I can buy. There's a vendor. What's this guy sell? Oh, mission agent. I'm not worried about missions right now. Envoy somebody or another. But apparently, if I go here... It won't let me use it. All right. It says to find people to ask about a mysterious life form. I don't, I don't know who it wants me to ask, so. Okay, well, I can see we're learning the language. It's going to be handy. Okay. Now this is funny. <laughs> uh, okay. Is there anybody here who looks like The Monaki is our, oh man, <laughs> we are watching you traveler friend, find what we have left you. that every system has a space station serving as its hub speaking to life forms aboard the station brings a chance to trade learn word to gain understanding visit technology merchants to upgrade your ship and equipment visit the cartographer for directions take missions from the mission agent use the teleporter and instantly return to your base 
Well, that's what I was trying to do, was use this teleporter. And hopefully save some of that power. Network restricted. Local teleportation only. Interstellar detection wavelength offline. Local transmission stations call sign online. Teleporters will allow instantaneous travel between previously visited stations and owned bases. Visit the terminus aboard the space station to add points to your teleportation network. Network temporarily re restricted to in-base systems. Okay. I thought I renamed my uh, my base. And so, boom, back on my base. And that ate all of my stuff. That is just terrible. They said the bioreactor was terrible, so. Archives terminated. Select new task. Begin decryption. The traveler finds their wings, fly to us, and claim her place among the stars. Reach the decoded coordinates. Where, where, where are the... Oh god, they're up there. And I have... Oh! Well, that's handy. My ship came back. <laughs> I'm not sure why it came back, but it did. So I am going to go climb into it, jump out of it, and call it a night. Anyways, I just thought you'd enjoy seeing what this was. I don't know if you'll ever play it, but just thought I'd let you know. Talk to you later. Have a good night. Oh, <laughs> took me a while to figure out how to quit out of this stupid game, too.